Hello and welcome to the Solutions to Share video. In this video, I will introduce the product template hub to you. Um, that way we will start with uh, a business user view and I've prepared a little role play. So first of all, look how it's looking like for the business user. So what I've done, I've already opened template hub or office 365 in the browser what you're seeing just here and our app template hub is a sharepoint hosted app which i've already pre-installed and pre-configured so i'm just switching back to my site collection in this case it's a collaboration space with a partner organization and yeah the reason why we are using template hub we are, have configured a lot of content types within the organization and would like to reuse them and also to better align, enable sorting and preview within the document libraries. So in this site collection, I have two document libraries, events and presentations. So if I'm going into events, I can now choose files and new from template. I'm choosing that one and it quickly loads all the content types uh, which I can reuse at this library based on certain categories and preview being enabled which opens Microsoft Office web apps in the background. In this example I've just one category which have filtered content types for events which yeah based here um, around the dark region so let's switch to a presentation library i'm choosing the same new from template and in this library i have now multiple presentations from different categories available like here from powerpoint Therefore, I can also search. Let's continue with the presentation. And now I can just simply choose create and open, which opens it in my client application. In this case, it would be PowerPoint. Or I can simply create um, the file name, of course, um, and create and open the form to further edit it in the browser, for instance, if I would like to add additional properties which are based on the content type. That's how it's looking like from the business user perspective. So how it's looking in the background. So for instance, let's assume that we are configuring from scratch. I've just created a new template page, which I'm using here. Let's call it football. And what I've done, or what's getting automatically done as soon as you provision Office 365, a content type hub under this URL, sites slash content type hub is getting created automatically. Um, but we will switch back to that one in a second. So this project site, football, already has some content available, but now I would like to add template up. So I've added template up from the organizational app store. If you're just looking into the SharePoint App Store apps. So it's the company App Store. I've added the application in here, Template Hub. So it's a completely SharePoint hosted app. So just adding it. Yeah, I'm trusting it. So now it just takes a few seconds until my app is getting deployed. 
and now it's ready to go. So just access it. Now on the next page we have a few points available. The first three ones I already did. Creating lists creates system lists within the content type hub. So you only need to do that once. The second one, you simply navigate to, to the content type available in your Office 365 tenant. And as you can see here on the left side, we have a new library available, template hub documents. So what I have added here is just my documents that I'm managing at a central location. So whenever this template is changing, I can simply add a new version in this library, publish the content type. So looking at the library settings, I've made the content types available in here. And well, when updating our content type, you can just publish or republish the content type. So back to our templates. So at the moment, we're just using native functionality. Um, and we are also relying on the content type hub in SharePoint native. So added, I've added the documents. And if I switch back to my settings, I can simply configure categories. Basically the categories, just think in like full list. It's a possibility where you can um, assign your content types to certain categories or switch them. After we have done that, I can simply after we have done that we can enable the settings on the library and on this page you can simply assign which content types should be available in a corresponding library so for instance let's use this example presentation so i can just make two of those free content types available, save them, and return to my library. Now, two actions are happening. So this has been a just standard document library before. So template hub makes this button available new from template and at the second stage it also adds the content type to the library and that's all what we need to do so if i'm going back to my library and now create new from template i've assigned my two content types which i've assigned to able to uh, yeah, filter by category as well as for search criteria. That's all what you need to do. And now I can start working with template hub more efficiently. And just keep in mind, updating is now being simplified because all the changes of document templates are done in the content type hub. So at this stage, thank you for watching solutions to share with your template hub from the very first minutes on the business user side and second on how to add and configure template hub from the administrative perspective. If you have any questions or would like to receive a personal demo, just contact us and further information can be found on our website as well, solutions to share.net. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.